The overall goal of the following experiment is to produce oxytrophs of a wild type bacterial strain that grow in minimal salts medium supplemented with glucose. This is achieved by transforming a transposome into the wild type host strain to obtain a canamycin resistant population of bacteria with random transposon inserts. Next, transformants are screened by replica plating, which identifies oxytrophs that grow on rich medium but fail to grow on minimal salts medium supplemented with glucose. Next, genomic DNA from the mutant is digested, ligated, and transformed into E. coli in order to obtain a plasmid containing the transposon flanked on each end by segments of the interrupted gene. Results are obtained that show the putative identity of the interrupted gene based on DNA sequencing and basic local alignment search tool analysis. The transposon used in this technique uh, has a replication origin, a canamycin resistant gene, and mosaic ends for transposase protein binding. It lacks transposase protein gene, uh, and hence uh, we have to add this transposase gene with the transposone DNA fragment. And then the complex between the transposon DNA with, and the protein is electroporated into the host. The main advantages of electroporation are the elimination of the need for transduction or conjugation. The lack of a transposase gene usually produces stable inserts, and the presence of a replication origin and a kenamycin resistance gene allow for easy identification of the mutated gene.